Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to learn more about filtering our results using the WHERE clause. So you know in previous lessons we learned how to, the WHERE clause can be used to filter out any records where the condition is false, but did you also know that you can string those conditions together to create even more complex conditions? To do this we use what are called the AND, the OR, and the NOT boolean operators. Now the name boolean may seem strange to you, but it's actually named after Charles Boole, who is the creator of um, boolean algebra. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is show you a query in our, our system that uh, uses uh, the AND clause, and it's going to show us how not only do we um, use the AND operator, but also how um, they're strung together. So here you can see our example where we're selecting order ID, product ID, the unit price and quantity from order details. That's all very familiar. Even uh, the where unit price greater than five is something you've seen. We've uh, used the where clause with one condition in the past, but now what we're saying is um, using two conditions that we want both the unit price to be greater than five and the quantity to be greater than 10. So only rows where the unit price is greater than 5 and the quantity is greater than 10 will be returned. That means you won't see any rows returned where the unit price is, let's say, 10 and the quantity 1. Nor will you see any returned where, let's say, the quantity is um, 20 but the price is 2. So let's see what comes back. As you can see here, we have uh, unit prices all greater than 5 and the quantities are greater than 10. So the magic to this really is the AND operator. What the AND operator um, says is that both conditions must be true in order for the filter to pass. So a condition of false and a condition of true won't pass because that is false. A condition of um, true and then false won't pass because that's also false. And, and, and two that are both false, they don't pass neither. It really, both conditions must evaluate to true for the AND uh, condition to return a true. And of course we know we need to have that true result uh, as our final result in order for the WHERE condition to say, yep, this record's a go and let's include it. So let's do some more examples with the AND clause just to get you familiar with it. The next one I'm going to do is working with the um, AND clause with a calculated field. This is also something you've seen singly, but now we're going to show it um, together. So here we have, um, again, the total price from order details. So we're, call we're calculating total prices, the unit price times quantity. And you see in the WHERE clause where we're then referring to that alias total price. And we're saying the total price is greater than or equal to 10. And the total price is um, less than or equal to 20. So if we run this, you'll see it comes back with an um, example where the total price is, it falls with that range between uh, 10 and 20. Now this may look somewhat familiar because in the past we've done the same exact query um, as a between. And let me see if I can find that one for you and uh, just to show you what that one would look like. Okay, so let me copy in this query that I just made. And you can see here where the total price is between 10 and 20. So this between is very similar to saying total price greater than or equal to 10 and total price less than or equal to 20. Again, so those are those are equivalent statements. The between operator is just a way of simplifying as we learned in the past. I believe you'll find though that with the and and uh, the or operator that we'll learn in, in the next section that you obtain much more flexibility. So that's all for now. Um, in the next video we will talk about the OR clause. So if you have any questions, please email me. Also, please tweet me at SQLChris. Love to hear from you, and I will get back. Thanks again.